Hi, all right, I'm in a beautiful house sit in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina with a really, really nice view. I'm gonna take a second and try to show it to you, but I don't know how much of it you're gonna see. Um, maybe I'll just stick some pictures in. I'll stick some pictures in so that you can see the view. All right, and I just left another fabulous house sit on Davis Island in Tampa, Florida with my own pool and it was glorious. So I wanna to talk to you today about how you, a brand new house sitter, can book awesome house sits. We talk a lot about how brand new house sitters need to start applying for house sits locally because it's easier for a local person to trust a house sitter with no reviews yet. And so I always say start locally when you're applying for house sits, but I also just want to open this up for you. I want to show you how you, a brand new house sitter, can book fabulous house sits anywhere in the world, not just like in your neighborhood. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie Perry. I'm a year-round house sitter, and I'm the creator of House Sitter School. I help black women take a sabbatical or move abroad on a budget. If that sounds good to you, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and make sure that you turn on notifications, ring that notification bell, so that you will be notified when I post a new video or when I go live to do some Q&As, which I do all the time. Welcome. All right, so let's talk about you getting a fantastic, fabulous, exotic, awesome house sit. Make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because I have a special offer for you about house sitter school. All right, if you're brand new to the idea of house sitting, house sitting is just staying in someone's home and taking care of their home and usually their pets while they are away. You get free accommodation for house sitting. Um, most house sits, especially house sits that are booked through online platforms are unpaid, but you're getting free accommodation for the length of that house sit. All right, so let's get into it. I have five steps, let me look at my notes. I have five steps to make sure that you are landing fabulous house sits. Step number one is to join Trusted House Sitters. Pretty simple. Trusted House Sitters is the online platform where I get booked as a house sitter. The two house sits that I've had this summer that have been so glorious were both Trusted House Sitters house sits. You can't get booked to house sit through Trusted House Sitters until you get your Trusted House Sitters profile, okay? Until you get your profile set up, until you pay for your membership. Every time I do a one-on-one -on -one call with someone and they're like, I've been wanting to house sit for the longest time, and I ask them, okay, well, when did you join Trusted House Sitters? And they say, I haven't joined yet. I'm like, what do you expect to happen? Like, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Join Trusted House Sitters. Yes, there's a membership fee. That membership fee covers you for every house sit that you can get for the year. Right? So if you think that a $125 or a $250 membership fee is too much, then you need to look at your calendar and find spaces where you want to house sit. If it's not worth $250 or $125 for you to have free accommodation for those days, then house sitting is not probably going to benefit you. Okay? But if you can look at your calendar and you can see times when either you want to take a vacation or you want to do a staycation type thing or you, know, you want to do a road trip, you want to go away, uh, if you can look at your calendar and see enough dates where a membership to Trusted House Sitters will pay for itself in free accommodation, then really, there's no reason for you to not have joined already. My link, my affiliate link for you to join Trusted House Sitters is in the new House Sitter Toolkit, which you can get at Vicarious dot com slash house sit. I will link to that in the description. That toolkit has everything that I, ha I use to get booked to house sit. So step number one for booking a fabulous house sit is to get on Trusted House Sitters. Step number two is to be the first person to apply when you see a fabulous house sit on Trusted House Sitters. Um, people who get awesome house sits are people who sent their application immediately, not the person who took a day or two to see if they were really ready to give it a try. Okay, you have to be ready to come out of the blocks, right? You have to, you're in the starting blocks when you have a trusted house sitter's profile and it's like that starter pistol has gone off. As soon as you see that house sit, that starter pistol has gone off. Applying for a house sit doesn't necessarily mean that you're 100% in, right? It means that you're available for those dates and you're interested and you wanna to talk to this client more. You wanna to talk to them further. If you have some questions, you can't get your questions answered until you apply for the house sit and set up a conversation with them. I'm getting ahead of myself on my list. I have five things on the list. I'm like on number four already. But, <laughs> okay, back to number two. Apply first, okay? Be one of the first people to apply for a house sit. The way that you do that is that you have alerts set, part of your trusted house sitter's membership, 
Uh, part of that means that you get to have alerts set where they will tell you when a house sit that fits your specific criteria has been posted on their site. They give you an alert on your phone, on your computer, and your email, and boom, you know it's go time. It's time to apply for the house sit. If you're the type of person who needs to wait four or five days before you can even consider applying for a house sit, you're gonna be left with what's left over. You're gonna be left with the house sits that were not like an immediate, yes, I want this, I want this, right? You're gonna be left with the leftover house sits. I don't know if I wanna call them that, but you know, not the top tier A-list house sits. I'll say that. So make sure that you apply first, apply early. I've talked about this before, just because you do see that other people have already applied for a house sit, doesn't mean that you don't apply for a house sit, but you are significantly increasing your odds if you are the first person to apply, or one of the first. The third tip for nailing the house sit of your dreams, right, for nailing awesome, amazing, fabulous house sits, is to be open to new areas, be open to places that you hadn't necessarily considered before. It's okay to pick a house sit based on the look of the house and the dates, right? It's okay to do that. You're doing something seriously good for the client. You're helping them be able to live their travel dreams by coming to stay in their home and taking care of their responsibilities while they're gone. Um, but it's okay to base what house sits you wanna do on how awesome is this house? How awesome is the city, right? And is this a place that I really want to be? It's okay to make that your top, um, criteria, your top priority. I think that's fine as long as you realize that house sitting is taking care of someone else's responsibilities and caring for their pets, not just tolerating their pets, but caring for them. Because I'm here to tell you that pet is gonna sleep in the bed with you. You think, you're, you think because you're a stranger, they're gonna sleep somewhere else, they're still gonna sleep in the bed with you. <laughs> so yes, we wanna make sure that we're in house sitting because we actually like animals and we like taking care of people's responsibilities for them so that they can go out and live their dreams, yes but it's perfectly fine to see a beautiful house in the treetops like I am today, right? In the treetops and decide that you want to stay in that house. I wasn't really interested in Asheville. I've never been to Asheville before, um, but the house that popped up, the view, right? They were smart enough to put a picture of the view in their listing and I applied for, and I was available for the dates. I applied for it immediately. So be open to new areas. I talked about setting alerts. It's okay to set a pretty broad alert. It's okay to set an alert for an entire continent if you want, for specific dates that you're available, if you wanna make sure that you get the best, the cream of the crop in terms of house sits. So tip number three was to be open to new areas. Be open to house sitting in places that you hadn't necessarily considered uh, wanting to visit before because some places will really surprise you. All right, tip number four, nail your interview. Okay, so the house sitting process works like this. You have your profile set up on trusted house sitters. A client posts that they need a house sitter for specific dates in their home. You see the house sit, you apply for the house sit, and then they say, hey, I loved your application. They send you a message and say, I would love to talk with you. Nine times out of 10, they do wanna have a conversation with you before they pick you to house sit. But they've read your profile and they've read your application, your, your message. So they have an idea of who you are and what you're about and if they like you or not. But they do wanna talk to you just to be sure. They set up some sort of video chat, Skype call, FaceTime, Zoom call, something. This conversation is very important, right? This is like a, like a job interview where they've cut out the people that they know are obvious no's. If you've made it to this point, they want you to be the person, right? They're bringing you to this stage because they want you to be their house sitter. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to be prepared for this interview. So you wanna nail this interview. Make sure that you have reread the posting so you know specifically what they're asking for. You know specifics about the pet, right? Does this pet take a specific certain medication? Is this a pet who needs to be walked twice a day, not just once a day? Do they have some sort of special request? Make sure that you know that so that when you walk into that interview or that Zoom call, you don't walk into a Zoom call, but you know what I'm saying. When you get on that Zoom call, you seem prepared and not somebody who's just like, yeah, whatever, man, <laughs> whatever. I just want to swim in your pool, right? The pet or whatever it is that they're bringing you in to take care of is important enough that they're taking time out of their schedule to talk to you about it 
act like it's important to you as well nail that interview. So let them know, be clear that you have read the posting and that you know what you know. Also come with some questions. In House Sitter School, we talk about some specific questions that you should take into that Zoom call or into that FaceTime call. You don't wanna show up just seeming like you're not interested. And also you don't wanna say yes to a house sit that doesn't fit your criteria. You wanna make sure that you ask certain questions so that you know if this is a house sit that you want. Because no matter how fabulous the view is from the house, if you hate the requirements, you're gonna be miserable there. You're gonna wish you had just paid to stay in a hotel instead. Okay, so show up with questions and ask your questions uh, and pr be prepared for them to ask you questions as well, okay? So that was the st step number four to landing awesome houses, nail your interview. Step number five, don't let them scare you away from a fabulous house sit with their like scary things. I don't know how to put a better way to say that. In most of the fabulous house sits that I've done, there has been some sort of special thing that they wanted to warn me about that might have scared me away from the house sit if I had let it. In my, in my New Orleans house sit, the, sca the thing that might have scared me away was that there was a raccoon who comes to the back door every day <laughs> to be fed, <laughs> right? Um, they have a stray cat in the neighborhood and the house sit that I was in, part of my requirement, part of what they required from me was to leave food on the back porch for that stray cat. The cat would come every day and she would eat the food and drink a little bit of water and go on about her business. But that meant that the local raccoon also knew that there was sometimes food out there. And if the cat left food, the raccoon would come and eat it. And if the cat had eaten all the food, the raccoon would come and knock on the door and ask for more food, okay? So uh, that was a thing that could have scared me away from the house sit. It did not. I, I did the house sit. I shooed the raccoon away most of the time. Some, and then after a while, I was just like, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore this raccoon. If there's no food out there, eventually he will go away. Here, the scary thing was bears, right? One of the first things they told me is that there are bears here uh, in Asheville and that the dogs go outside and bark at the bears in the middle of the night. And so I have to make sure that I close up the doggy door so that they can't get out in the middle of the night. In Tampa and New Orleans, it was hurricanes, right? I was in both places during hurricane season. In New Orleans, nothing happened, thankfully. In Tampa, there was a tropical storm. It had started as a hurricane, but by the time it got there, there was a tropical storm, and I had to do some special prep, you know, move some stuff off of the porch, and you know, just to make sure that it didn't come flying through the window during the tropical storm. Uh, that's another reason that you're there. People are bringing you into their home to handle their responsibilities while they're gone, including like what to do if a hurricane comes through. So you have to decide if this is a house sit in a time and a location that you want to be there. Make sure that you do your research. My clients were straightforward and prepared enough to say, you know, this is during hurricane season. Are you okay with that? Uh, but you want to do your research for yourself in case it's something they forget to bring up. But I'm glad that I didn't let the potential problems scare me away. Uh, I haven't seen a bear here yet, but I've only been here for like 36 hours, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so how to find fabulous house sits when you're new to house sitting. Number one, get your trusted house sitters membership. Number two, apply early when you see a beautiful house sit that you want. Number three, be open to new areas. Number four, nail your interview. Be prepared for it, be interested, ask questions. And number five, don't let them scare you away with the scary stuff. Be prepared and be, be informed, okay? I'm not saying to ignore the scary stuff. Be informed, but also put it in proportion, okay? <laughs> All right, so I told you that I had a special offer for you regarding House Sitter School. House Sitter School walks you through the process of getting your new profile up on Trusted House Sitters and applying for your first house sit and then walks you through the steps of getting that first five-star review. It's for people who want a little extra support to make sure that they get this first house sit, that their membership on Trusted House Sitters doesn't expire for the year without them having booked their first house sit, okay? House Sitter School is included in the accelerated program of Exodus Homecoming. Exodus Homecoming is a sabbatical and move abroad summit for black women. If you're a black woman who is considering taking a sabbatical or a career break from work, 
or considering becoming a digital nomad, or is considering moving abroad completely and becoming an expat, I think you should be at Exodus Homecoming. It's an online event, a virtual summit, that happens September 24th through 26th of 2021. If you're watching in the from the future and that time has passed, you can still check out Exodus Homecoming and uh, go to exodushomecoming.com and see if there's still a link there. If there's no link there, look in the description for the newest link, okay? But if you're watching before September 26th, 2021, you can register for Exodus Homecoming at exodushomecoming.com. Of course, the link to that is in the description. I am the host of Exodus Homecoming along with Rashida Dow, who is a career break coach and who is here on YouTube as Sheeta's on the Loose. We want you to be at Exodus Homecoming. This is our second year running this virtual summit for black women travelers. And last year we had such amazing results. Women who came to Exodus last year just thinking, oh, it would be nice to take a sabbatical. Or, oh, I wish I could move abroad, okay? They came last year with that in them. This year they're abroad. Right? This year they have already taken their sabbatical. They're already a digital nomad. They are already an expat. That's why this year it's called a homecoming because some of those women are coming back to teach you. They're coming back to teach you what they did, what went well, what went right, what went wrong, what they wish they had known, uh, what were the wins and what were the failures, okay? They're coming to teach you so that you will know how to plan this for yourself. We've got women who are moms. We've got women who are single. We've got women who are working for an employer. We've got women who are self-employed. We've got women who are retired. We've got women who took a sabbatical and then came back to work, okay? I want you to be at Exodus Homecoming. So what does this have to do with house sitter school? If you upgrade to the accelerated program, the upgraded ticket to Exodus Homecoming, you get house sitter school included. The accelerated program includes some Group coaching from me and Rashida Dow, right, in includes two group coaching sessions from us. It includes getting residency abroad workshops. So you're, if you're interested at all in getting residency in Mexico, Portugal, or France, a, a getting residency abroad workshop is included. From Rashida Dow, you get a discount on From Burnout to Bliss, her group coaching program, and you get House Sitter School. House Sitter School is included in the accelerated program for Exodus Homecoming. Okay, so I want to see you there September 24th through 26th. Register at exodushomecoming.com. Rashida and I are not doing any in person events through 2021. So if you want together, we're not doing anything together. So if you want to hang out with us for a while on the internet, this is where you're going to do it Exodus Homecoming. Okay, so you're not just going to get time with us. <laughs> the real benefit of Exodus Homecoming is that you are going to walk away with a community of black women who are on the same path as you or on a similar path as you. I don't get through any video without telling you about the importance of community. When you're doing something that is a little different, when you're doing something that is against the grain, which is house sitting, house sitting is different, or sabbaticals are different, taking a career break, being a digital nomad, moving abroad entirely, that's different. When you're doing something like that, you need to have a community of people who are walking alongside you. Because the people who celebrated you and cheered for you when you got married, when you went to grad school, when you bought a house, those are not the same people who are gonna celebrate you when you start talking about living your dream. I'm sorry to tell you, okay? So instead of letting the reactions of those people who just don't get it yet, right? They mean well, but they don't get it yet. Instead of letting their reactions beat you down or tell you, no, okay, so maybe they're right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this thing. Instead of that, add in input from people who get it. Form community with women who get it. You're gonna find that community at Exodus Homecoming. I wanna see you there. I hope I see you there. September 24th through 26th of 2021, okay? All right, so we have talked about how to get a fabulous, amazing, beautiful, glorious house sit uh, when you're new to house sitting, okay? And we've talked about how you can get house sitter school included in the package when you come to Exodus Homecoming. If you have questions for me, please leave your questions down in the comments. I'd love to hear them, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Please take a second and hit this like button if you liked it. Share this video with someone you know who would love to house it for some free accommodation. Thank you. Also, I think you should watch this video here if you have questions about who can house it, who is house sitting for. This video
video is called Could You House Sit? And it's super helpful. If this video made you like not at all interested in house sitting, you don't wanna watch another house sitting video, I have some videos here about moving to Mexico. Mexico is the total package, I think. And so check out these videos, all right? See you next time. Bye.